Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Fight Focus. And for today's video, we will be covering the deadliest question mark kicks ever seen. Also, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment what video you want to see next. Let's get to it. Popularized by especially bendy fighters like Sanchai, the question mark kick is one of the most deceptive kicks in fighting. Question mark kicks can be very effective when they are timed properly because of their deceptive nature. For a split second, the person receiving the attack may think it's going to the body. The kick is incredibly sneaky and is usually most effective once the opponent is patterned into movement. A few fighters that perfected the question mark kick in the UFC, Holly Holm and Luke Rockhold first come to mind as both have damaged many fighters with the kick to a serious extent. For this video, we have comprised a list of instances where MMA and Muay Thai fighters were able to use the question mark kick to instantly knock their opponents out. So without further ado, these are the craziest question mark kicks ever seen. Number 12 Fed Samron Thai fighter Fat Samron went toe to toe with Tang Tong in 2020. Their fight started off with a lot of kicks that would definitely not last for long after Fat Samron decided to go for a question mark kick that literally threw Tang Tong on the canvas like it was nothing. After the kick would land, Tang Tong would be on the ground clutching his face in pure agony. You can't help but to feel bad for the guy. I mean, come on, look how hard that shit landed. Number 11, Shamil Abdullayev. Shamil Abdullayev landed two question mark kicks in a row on his opponent, Paulo Bueno. That alone is a rarity. As Abdullayev backed up, he landed a straight right that floored Bueno. What was definitely crazy was how Paolo allowed himself to receive two of these kicks back to back. Number 10, Alexander Illich. Things were going well for the most part against fellow middleweight Alexander Illich until he ended up on the wrong end of one of the best knockouts of 2019. <laughs> Serbia's Illich turned things around with an incredible question mark KO that sent Janikowski straight to the canvas and done for the night. Though there was a lot of hype behind him going into the fight, the former Olympian wasn't prepared for the sickness of Illich who let loose with a frankly ludicrous question mark kick to his head, dropping him to the ground like a sack of potatoes. Number 9 Lerzila Thai fighter Lerzila Fouquet Top team scored one of the most brutal head kick knockouts in the sport's history. And is Lord Silla going to try and finish him now? Oh, he does. Wow. It's good night, Irene. He folded him up. My goodness. A glancing left head kick floored Hebson halfway through the second frame, and though he was in trouble when he climbed back to his feet, he continued to plug away at the multiple world Muay Thai champion. Moments later, however, Lord Silla dug a teep kick into the Atlanta fighter's gut and then disguised the frightening left head kick behind a fake follow-up teep. As soon as Lurzilla's shin crashed into Hebsine's face, he was out, igniting the Foxwoods Resort Casino crowd. Number 8 Ian Gary One of Ireland's most promising young prospects, Ian Gary, managed to score a picture perfect question mark KO in his second pro outing. Chances we're going to see him take, you know, his, his KO debut was. Oh, big shot from Ian Gary! Stop, 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 stop. Facing the 4-0 Matteo Seglia on the main card, Gary managed to connect with the beautifully timed and executed question mark kick, one that seemed to barely touch his opponent but clearly did more than enough damage to force the fight ending sequence. Number 7 Glave Feitoza He even defeated Alistair Overeem via knockout back in 2004, but none will beat the question mark kick knockout he had over Alex Roberts. You can see how high up he was able to get that kick since it was able to go over Robert's guard. Feitoza has finished fights with the question mark kick and has landed it several times throughout his career, including one that rocked 6 foot 11 semi shield. Number 6 Nicholas Dalby Nicholas Dalby had already forged a fearsome reputation on the Scandinavian circuit, but that infamous picture perfect question mark kick turned Sergei Chirilov's legs to jelly and introduced him to a global audience. This was Lokomotivo Dalby and the train kept on running. 
First stop was another question mark kick against undefeated Robert Allegretti, then earned him a second shot at Cage Warriors gold. Number 5. Rose Nama Yunez Though this may not seem like a question mark kick, it accomplished its job in acting as one since Whaley thought the kick was going for her body before the kick dipped upwards. Whaley has landed several of those inside low kicks. <laughs> Nama Yunus came out light on her feet and looked to establish her range with a piston-like jab, then Zhang returned fire with a few heavy leg kicks and aggressively looked to close the distance. Nama Yunus, however, remained calm in the eye of the storm and landed a beautiful left question mark kick that felt China's first UFC champion. Thug Rose didn't waste the opportunity to close the show, unleashing a flurry of hammer fists that prompted referee Keith Peterson to call a halt to the proceedings. Number 4. Yuta Kubo this Japanese lightweight kickboxer has also had his fair share of knocking out opponents with a beautiful question mark kick. One of his more memorable performances came at the hands of Yoshimichi Matsumoto back in 2010 at K1 World Max. Can be a spoiling fighter with power, which is rare. It's oh! this is over. This insane knockout occurred in the last minute and a half of the first round. Most of the fight occurred with Yuta walking Yoshimichi down and landing numerous low kicks and leg kicks to weaken his mobility. All that walking away and defending the body would go to shambles when Yuta landed a kick to the body but later landed a beautiful question mark kick that turned Matsumoto into jello. Number 3 Holly Holm Holm, who has in the past found success with kicks to the dome, executed a question mark kick that floored Koheya, earning her first win since 2015. By the third round, the crowd sounded like they just wanted their money back, but luckily for them, Holm made sure they got at least some of their money's worth. After Koheya taunted her opponent, Holm landed a beautiful question mark kick, the strike dropped Koheya to the floor, and Holm rushed in for one more punch before the referee stopped the action at 1 minute and 9 seconds of round 3. If there is anything to learn from this video, it's to never taunt an opponent that can high five your face with their foot. Number 2 Sanchai the king of Muay Thai, Sanchai battled out at the Thai Fight Bangkok event going up against Brazilian Henrique Muller. The scheduled for three round championship ended in the third when the Thai star landed a spectacular question mark kick to the head. After that beautiful kick had landed, it caused Muller's body to slowly lose control as we've seen many times when a powerful kick lands on an opponent's head. Number 1 Israel Adesanya Adesanya was 10-0 coming into the fight after having Dare backed up to the cage, he cut him with a sharp elbow. A brief moment of separation allowed Adesanya to land a swift head kick which ended the fight in the final seconds of the first round. As soon as the kick had launched, you can tell that Stewart was trying to block his body but didn't have enough time to pull his hands back up to guard his face. The kick happened so fast that you could miss it in the blink of an eye. And that right there concludes this video. Let us know what we did in the comments below. Alright MMA fans, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, make sure to hit the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to comment below what video you want to see next.